Uh, we, we again, as the district attorney said, we baptize those individuals. We love them. We care for the family. And for us to do funerals, um, nothing pains us more than to see a 17-year-old young man or young lady in front of us with their whole life in front of them. And so we want to do more than just funerals. We want to do more than just praying. And so we want to bring our collective resource to the city so that the city can see us. And we have been again doing this for many, many years without one dime or acknowledgement of reducing the violence that we have in our communities. I'm Brooklyn DA, Eric Gonzalez. And today we came together with the members of our community and our clergy, the precinct council clergy, has grown in, in parts of Brooklyn, but we've never been connected in, in ways that have put us all together doing the work. So today we announced a new initiative. That initiative is going to have all the clergy council working to do violence interruptions in our communities, uh, partnering with our office, making sure that we can keep our, our families safe in Brooklyn, um, and making sure that our clergy has the resources that they need in order to do some of the work. We know that the clergy has always been there for our community. The churches have been part of our communities from day one when we were born, we get baptized to the day we, we pass and we're buried. Um, our, our, our clergy is so important in our lives and giving our clergy the opportunity, the, op the chance to work with the district attorney's office and law enforcement to keep their congregations and their communities safe is a new initiative that we're building right here in Brooklyn and one that I think will spread throughout the city. Today I am honored to be here and um, I want to commend the district attorney for his leadership and his vision to work with the clergy. And also I want to thank Pastor Gil Monrose and, and the God Squad also and all the other clergy uh, who are really pushing out there uh, in the community also and um, as many of us has been out there in the street for many years and we have been heard but not been fully acknowledged to get in the resources that we needed and it's a great thing to see that this is really coming to pass. So right here at uh, Restoration Plaza, and it's not only just the violence against the, uh, uh, you know, the people in the community, but there's a violence against the church also, where churches and, and uh, religious institutions have been also under attack, like uh, even my church was set on fire, and here we go again, they, they break in again and snatch the generator from our mobile church, and uh, there are more have been happening every day, so we need to step up and, um, and get some of the resources. This is historic in terms of just the collaboration between all the police precincts, uh, clergy councils, uh, who is respective in their location and where they live, where they serve. Um, and we announced today with the district attorney that we're coming together as a unit uh, to work as much as we can to end gun violence in our community. The same response that we give to COVID-19 is the very same response that we need to give to gun violence in our communities. It have to be on that same level, where the governor came on television for 111 days straight or something to that effect. The same with the mayor. We need to be on every single day talking about resources, resources, resources. Help, 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 so that our community can get back on their feet out of the scourge of the violence that we see. Pastor Charles Galbraith, pastor of Clarendon Road Church, also part of the executive team uh, for 67 Clergy Council, the God Squad, uh, there in central Brooklyn. And listen, uh, this is just to make sure uh, that the work that has been being done is solidified, as well as we are making sure we're tearing down the silos. We have been doing this work. Other clergy councils have been doing the work. Now it's time for us to organize and strategize to reduce gun violence. We don't just want to reduce gun violence. We want to eradicate it. And so we're partnering with the district attorney's office as well as with all of the precinct councils, clergy councils in central Brooklyn, uh, as well as all of Brooklyn, to make sure that we can reduce this gun violence. This is important because, listen, as faith leaders, as those who are worshiping in congregations, we have an opportunity to make a touch point in our community. Many times we are the trusted uh, uh, leaders who can communicate and connect with our individuals who are going through issues and concerns, and we can reduce this gun violence. And so we want to make sure that we can bring our resources 
resources, physical resources, as well as spiritual resources to bear to be able to address these concerns and issues. This, this is something that's not abstract from us. It's part of our reality. Truth be told, man, listen, uh, just last week I met with a young man uh, who was shot three times about five blocks away from our congregation. And so we realize that this is not something that's disconnected from it. This is something we deal with day in and day out, not only in regards to the counseling and the help, but also the de-escalation concerning the retaliation that's going to take place. And so we believe that as faith leaders, it's part of our responsibility to be present, active, and engaged to see the reduction of gun violence. And we believe it can be done. Rainbow Car Service, 718-498-4444. For the bitter tonic, it's bitter, but it's good. So my name is Natasha Christopher, and how I feel about it in the initiative, it's what's needed. Again, I've been with God Squad, the 67 Precinct clergy, for nine years. So I know the work that Pastor Gail and the 67 Precinct have done. So I'm happy to see other clergy getting involved. So it's time for all those other clergies to get from behind their pulpit and put boots on the ground. So I support the initiative 100%. My name is Pastor Chaplain Wharton. I'm a member of the God Squad. I'm out here representing the community, representing the squad. And we're out here um, for a partnership with the District Attorney Office, Mr. Eric Gonzalez, and clergy, and all clergy, and all the councils across the city to come together to create initiatives to combat gun violence and combat violence on a whole. Because it's, 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 uh, it's taking, um, it's taking uh, seriously dangerous uh, turns in our city as of late, and we must try to smother it now before it turns into an inferno of negativity. Pastor Louis Straker from the Reflections Church. I'm the lead pastor there, also a member of the 67 Precinct Clergy Council, the God Squad. I'm on the clergy lead team. Well, the real work of Jesus was always outside. 93% uh, of his ministry was outside of the temple, and so we try to pattern ourselves after Jesus and make sure that we don't get stuck in the church four walls and be able to get out in the community and really touch the lives. The Bible says that the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. And so it takes uh, pastors to really have the heart for the community, have the heart for the last, the least, and the lost, and be able to get out there and help help change their lives by the power of the gospel. We can't be afraid of the people that we have to minister to. We can't be afraid of the people that are lost, that need to be transformed. At one point in time, we were all lost, but God, but God. I think that's the two words that I just need to say, but God. And so there are many people that are need to be uh, redirected and there are no bad people around. People are carrying the image of God. We all carry the image of God. It's just a matter of how you view the Great Commission. Uh, the Great Commission calls us to go ye therefore. You got to go. You can't stay within your four walls. Jesus called us to go to all nations. And so we're called to not just go over to Africa and go over to these other mission fields. Sometimes the mission field is right there on our block. It's right there in our community. And so pastors have to take a different look at uh, the Great Commission and how to really fulfill that. Charity begins at home and we got to spread the love at home. I always say, if you can't do it at home, then you have no business doing it elsewhere. And so we gotta learn how to take care of the block. We need to learn how to take care of the people right in our community that are starving, the, the gun violence and all of the issues that are happening right here at home. We got to start dealing with that first before we start dealing with things abroad. Rainbow Car Service, 718-498-4444. For the bitter tonic, it's bitter, but it's good. Mr. Printer. Phase two. 9117 Avenue L is the newest event space in Canarsie, Brooklyn.